Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mangle Nerdy channel. I'm Miss Mangle and today we are reviewing Princess Mononoke. Woohoo! This is one of my absolute favorite Studio Ghibli films besides Spirited Away, which I will try to do a review on at some point soon on the channel. But uh, Princess Mononoke is one of those timeless classics that stands the test of time. Miyazaki has a way of captivating his audience with his storytelling as well as his visually stunning animation. But uh, fair warning, guys, to some some people watching this, it is a little bit more violent than most of the Studio Ghibli films have been. But it has to be in order to depict the the story, the subject of the story. In the 14th century, peace between her and the humans only brings conflict. My final thoughts on this film. It is a cinematic masterpiece I would highly recommend to anyone. I love Ashitaka's character in that he has the ability in this film to see with unclouded eyes, to be sympathetic towards the humans who are just trying to survive, to innovate, to improve their way of life, as well as sympathize with the spirits and the gods of the forest who are devastated by what humans are doing to their forest by taking and destroying. It was a chain of events really for me as far as as this whole played out. If Lady Abashi, the leader of the human tribe, hadn't shot the boar spirit, none of this would have happened. The boar spirit wouldn't have attacked Ashitaka's village in a fit of rage. He was just rampaging through. This story had to me had no clear cut villain. Some may argue, though, that Lady Abashi was the villain in this, but I think it was more of she f she was doing what she felt was right for her people, but she was doing it in the wrong way by taking and taking. It's also beautiful t to me to see how uh, Ashitaka's relationship with Mononoke blossomed over the over the movie. Um, she was so clouded by what the people, by what humans were doing to the forest and to her, her fellow wolf spirits. Um, even though she is human, she was raised by the wolf spirits to be a guardian to help them. Um, but Ashitaka, he, he brought, you know, he, he made her eyes unclouded and he made her see that not all humans are evil. Not all humans are taking from the earth and destroying. I, I absolutely love the visuals in this. Some of the, the, the visuals are just breathtakingly beautiful. And it's one of those films that you can mute it and watch the whole film and you can know exactly what's happening in the film without any words, nothing. It is that Studio Ghibli movies ha always have a way of telling a story with their visuals as well as, you know, their, their storytelling. And they also have a way of making you think afterwards and making, you know, having very powerful messages like this with, you know, there's no clear cut side, but to see both sides and to understand. But like I said before, guys, I would highly recommend this film to anyone. But what are your guys' thoughts on this? Um, do you guys like Studio Ghibli movies? Are you guys... What films do you guys like to see? Anyways, please leave a comment in the comments down below. And like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the little bell to get notified of my videos. Also, guys, I wanted to give you guys a heads up. I will be making a new channel coming up soon. It's going to be a second project um, with a friend of mine. Um, once that gets off the ground, though, I'll make a video on this channel to let you guys know what's what with it and everything else. But, uh, but with that being said, guys, 
as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, you guys, be you, be nerdy. Have an awesome day. Bye.